at six o'clock, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the pledge and then the commissioner patent door invitation. Behind you this time. We're going to switch sides. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Lord and our Father in heaven, we have that blessing tonight upon us that we enter this meeting. Father, give us the patience and the wisdom to make the right decisions and to conduct the business of the city of Beaver Dam in the most equitable fashion for all people concerned. We ask you to regard God, direct us, and protect us, and keep us from the evil one. In Christ's name, amen. So this is a special call meeting, so we are limited to agenda items. So the first This is not on the agenda, but I've been wondering where these are. <laughs> Guess what? They're in the book. And, and I will say, the reason we're doing this uh, is brought to our attention right. that next Monday night, Monday is actually a holiday, so city, off city offices will be closed, Veterans Day. So I thought, well, we do it this way instead of having, uh, didn't care so much about this guy up here, but we hate for Jill to have to come up. Thank you. <laughs> No, I just thought this is the best way to handle it. It wasn't a big agenda, a big item night. I mean, several items, but nothing earth-shattering, I guess I should say. So, First item of business, approval of the regular meeting, meeting minutes from last month. I move to approve the minutes. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the bills, which were on your desk in front of you. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Approved, same. Motion passes. Uh, I'm going to call this actually old business, but first item uh, is the second reading of the annexation of bluegrass crossings. And that would turn out to be ordinance number 2024 11 08 1. And Jill, you may change these around when you get them. I just, you said you used the date of the meeting. And this is annex, the, would be the second reading to annex the property out, out there at Bluegrass Crossings, uh, out by where the distillers want to build a Make a motion new facilities. That we approve the second reading of the ordinance. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with that. Aye. Aye. Post same. Motion passes. Next item is uh, the medical cannabis issue. The first one is Ordinance 2024-11-8-2, which is an ordinance of the City of Beaverdam relating to the allowance of cannabis business operations within the city. And they just follow the state guidelines, don't they? Well, yes, except we did some different stuff with our next ordinance on the okay, planning design. I, <laughs> I moved to approve the ordinance on medical cannabis. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. The next one, which is still a part of that, is Ordinance 2024-11-8-3, which is an ordinance of the City of Beaverdam, Kentucky, amending the business license ordinance by adding medical cannabis-related businesses. This would be added to Section 49, medical cannabis, and... Uh, item one of that would be medical cannabis dispensaries, uh, $500 annual license fee. And number two is medical cannabis cultivator, processor, producer, or safety compliance facility, which is also a $500 annual fee. I make a motion we accept the second reading. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. And then the final one was the ordinance of adoption. Uh, ordinance, it's the ordinance 2024-11-8-4. An ordinance of the city of Beaverdam, Kentucky, amending the city's planning and zoning highway business district in light of industrial conditional use permitted uses. Uh, I'm going to read the, what's been added. This is under uh, 673 highway business district, which is a B3. Uh, number one, principal permitted uses. Uh, which is a 1A and 1B. 1A is basically saying anything that's allowed in a B1 or a B2. Plus B, newer use car sales, farm implement sales, trailer sales, driving restaurants, and then what was added new, medical facilities where pharmaceuticals are not stored, 
or dispensed on site, and then any other similar uses. Under the same 673, number two, conditionally permitted uses, we added medical facilities where pharmaceuticals are stored, dispensed on site, and medical cannabis dispensaries, dispensaries of which cannot be located within 1,000 feet of the perimeter of a school, daycare, or park property. And then the other change was under light industrial, I-1. Number two, conditionally used permits. And what was added was medical cannabis cultivator, processor, producer, or safety compliance facility, all of which cannot be located within 1,000 feet of the perimeter of a school, daycare, or park property. So those were the items that were added new to our planning zoning orders. It covers both the medical facilities that there's been some issue with Okay. And with the I move approve the second reading of the planning and zoning amendments. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify that. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Now, the last item under this is under new business. Uh, we've got an opening on the Tourism Commission and talked to an individual, and I would ask you all to appoint Ashley Murray to the Tourism Board. I make a motion to wait for Ashley. Second. Uh, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know, but they speak highly. Motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Uh, Post same. She lives in Beaverdam. Can motion I ask that question? She does. Yeah. Well, they've told me she does. John Parker's old house okay. um, on Lafayette, mm -hmm. close to Keith. Oh, okay. Because I know. Uh, that's one. Of, this is one board. We have to have someone within the city, and that's on state statute. But uh, we're trying to keep it. That gives there's four guys and three gals on the commission now. And we're trying to keep a little bit of a balance there. So, and they say she'd be really good at it. She's kind of excited about it. So, she'll oh. probably get her husband too. He's a hard worker. So. Who's your husband? I can't think of his first name right now. Dad at school. Kyle. No. Yeah. That I know, is that it's that? Carrie Tribble's sister. Is that yeah. Right? Yeah. Ashley's. Okay. Yeah. Is that his? I can't remember his first. Seems like it's Kyle, but I'm not sure. I know the boys. I know him last You know him, don't you? Yeah, I know him. Okay. We. I won't say we have no visitors. We have a visitor. Do you have any comments? <laughs> okay. Uh, you can see how you're, you're right there, Mike. You, hard. See how you rate. I was coming to him next. <laughs> Does Mike have any comments? I just FYI, uh, Blake Wallace has went and completed his phase two pops. Uh, I don't see any issue with drug screen or polygraph, and it should be back in the next few days. And as soon as we get it back, then we can get him a academy date schedule. So that's kind of where we're at on him. Okay. Commissioner comments. Commissioner Robinson? Don't have anything. Pat? I'm in good shape. Davis? I've been gone. Yes, nothing for me. How long have you? Okay, <laughs> we'd like to entertain a motion to go into closed session to discuss uh, okay. potential contract with the business. Thank you. And, and you're, you're welcome to say that there cannot be any business conducted afterwards.